Okay, now we've got another effects shot. This is a dream sequence. She's dreaming and she dreams that she gets up and this was shot with a slow shutter speed. And she gets up and walks out of the house and weird things happen after that. But let's just look at what we can do with the film styles filters to create this dream effect and this day for night effect. So I'll double click this clip, go to the filters tab, press slash to drop our filters onto the clip. And we're of course gonna go for the white diffusion and you know, bring that up. It just kind of looks foggy right now. We're gonna use the tint control. And when you turn tint on, it maps shadows to this color, the tint color B and it maps highlights to tint color A. So we're gonna make tint color B black. And we're gonna make tint color A, we're gonna to try to find that just special moonlight. You know, moonlight is blue in movies. It's one of the rules. And so we just wanna find that moonlight shade. Okay, so let's say that we found it there. And we need a little more contrast. So we're gonna bring our S gamma up just gonna help us kind of get a more film-like look. And obviously we want her uh, to be the subject of this frame. We've got all this other stuff in the frame. And so we're gonna press shift slash, drop our 35 millimeter depth of field filter on this. And this time we are gonna definitely have to keyframe this mask. So let's just get her laying there and Set keyframes for height, width, and shape center. She gets up right here. So right here, we're gonna bring the height up and the width down. Move the mask over here. Now she gets up. So up we want height like that. And then she walks through the frame. Got a little bit of panning there. So we'll just go to the end of the shot and just get this mask over here. And let's see how that works. That's working all right. It's probably a little bit tight. Now, as you go adjusting keyframes, you probably want to hit these last keyframe buttons and adjust on the keyframes, otherwise you're just gonna end up with tons of keyframes and it's gonna be very hard to work with later. That works pretty well. So we've got her in there pretty well. Now we'll bring the feathering back. A lot of feathering. I don't mind the darken. Kinda of puts a little glow around her, but if it's subtle, it's all right. And we just want plenty of blur. And now we can head back up here and maybe add a little more gamma bring the contrast out a little bit, and we can tweak our color, make it a little more bluish, you know, a little more intense blue. We can bring the saturation down a little bit. You know, as an editor, you never know what kind of footage you're gonna get. We got this footage, and we are just trying to make the best of it using these Film Styles plugins and get the look that we wanted. Anyway, I think we have a great uh, look here. And once again, remove attributes, filters. There is the original shot. And undo. There is our shot with the film styles filters.